Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own gym for all of your city building needs. Now, not only have I built the entire outside of the gym for you, but I've designed the inside and I want to show it off a little bit before we get started so you kind of have an idea of what's coming up. On the first level of the gym, we have a lobby area. We have changing rooms, showers, a pool, and even a sauna slash steam room. I actually don't know the technical term. I don't know what the classifications are between the two, but let's just say it's both. And upstairs is where the actual working out happens. We have a load of treadmills. We have some heavy bags for cardio, weightlifting racks and benches, a few different weight machines, free weights, and so much more. I know that the tutorial hasn't even started yet, ladies and gentlemen, but I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. It'd really help me out and try and watch as much of the video as you possibly can. That really, really helps a lot as well. But if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell, turn on the notifications just in case you do have to stop watching this and you have to come back to it. But without any further ado, let's get started. Here is the amount of space required to make your gym a 29 by 31 block area as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground, which I would really recommend you make if you are planning out a city. It will only help you. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your gym. Please do make sure that you have access to all these materials and enough of them as well. We will be cycling through a lot of <laughs> cycling through a lot of materials as we progress through the build, but you'll be getting a nice heads up when that happens. So now that we have all of our stuff, we've got a good place to make it. Let's begin. So, step one, come all the way over to the front left hand corner of your grid, if you've made it, and count backwards 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Start off by placing a row of 9 light grey concrete extending up from the ground. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're also going to place a row of light grey concrete behind this. And we're going to extend each row to the right as well. So it's going to make a 2x2 two two pillar. There will be three more of these on each corner of the gym. Actually, one on each corner of the gym. There won't be three of them in each one of the three corners of the gym. So we're going to take the back right-hand corner of the bottom of the pillar here. And we're going to place a smooth quartz block. Place two glass going right. I'm using paint. Feel free to swap the colour and the kind of glass. One, two. We then want to place another smooth quartz. Light grey concrete. Smooth quartz. Two glass. Smooth quartz. And then a light grey concrete. We're going to extend this light grey concrete upwards by three. So that's going to be one, two, three. Extend to the right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then extend down to the ground. And then we're pretty much going to mirror what we have on the left side. We're going to place a smooth quartz block, two glass, quartz, light grey, smooth quartz, two glass, smooth quartz, and then two light grey concretes. Extend them forwards, and each one of these is going to want to have eight blocks added on top of it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to make it nine rows high. This is actually the gym is going to be half a row higher than this, but that will be its maximum height once we have hit it. So, typically speaking, I would get the groundwork laid out, but I think that I want to make a bit of the structure of the front of the gym because it kind of carries along to the rest of the build. So, first of all, we're going to take every single quartz block and we're going to place, place two more on top of them. So, one, two, one, two. Every single quartz block, just add two more on top. So, these are going to frame the windows. Um... Just like this, so we have added two on top of every single one. We want to join the second row of quartz together at the top, so we want to make these little tiny archways just like this. Perfect. If you like, you can even 
Not only can you fill the light grey concrete in between the windows, but I'd recommend you extend it all the way up until it equals the height of the pillars that we have on the left and right sides, but also then go one step further and extend the light grey one row towards you. So this is going to create some separation between the windows and it's going to create a, a level of depth and it'll allow us to detail the gym a little bit more. On top of all the windows, we want to add a row of light blue concrete. So this will actually kind of keep things nice, even and level with the actual entrance. So this is the entrance to the gym. I'm going to recommend now that you take the top corners of the gym here and you extend the top two corners of the gym forwards by four row or actually ex if you want to extend the entire light gray area here the light gray concrete area forwards and then do this take the top two corners i believe this is right and extend them forwards by one two three four just like this and then join the light gray concrete to the ground and one two three four like this and then join the light gray concrete to the ground just like this we can fill the top of this in using light gray concrete too this is basically just a i i don't know what the technical term for these is it's an entrance but i always call it like an airlock like like a spaceship or something because they, they always have like these automatic doors and i'm actually going to fill the sides of this in with glass pane the left and right side and um we would have some uh, we we would have some electric doors. I, I, I don't know why I'm blanking, but you know like supermarkets where the, like, the doors open for themselves and stuff like that. That's what these are, the automatic doors. Uh, I'm going to replace underneath the glass with some light grey concrete as well, just like this. Um, I'm also going to add, with the back pair of light grey concrete here, I'm going to add a row of smooth quartz block on the left and right sides. And then I'm going to add another row of glass pane, once again, kind of like the automatic doors that one would see um, well, multiple multitude of places, but you know supermarkets. I'm gonna extend a row of light gray concrete inwards from each of the uh, each of the outer rows of the entrance, and on top of the light gray concrete, I'm going to place some glass. If you wanted to, you can. If you wanted to, you could extend this uh, an extra row further if you wanted. But um, I'm quite happy for it to be a little bit more open like this. Later on, this is actually going to be dug out. I said. I did say later, but I find myself digging it out now. But later on, this is going to be dug out and refloored, as is the entirety of the gym. Uh, as you might imagine, we're not going to be walking around on grass. This isn't some sort of crazy new eco gym. <laughs> so now that we have done this, we can continue building things a little bit more. Where... The entrance begins on the left and right sides here. We also want to have rows of light grey concrete that are equal in height to the pillars that we've built around us. We also want to extend the light grey concrete one row forwards on the left and right side. We want to fill the back in between the back pair of pillars in using some, uh, some smooth quartz, just like this. At the bottom, if you leave a gap of one, you want to place two horizontal rows of light blue concrete like this. And then at the top here, we're going to have a row of upside down smooth quartz stairs. So you'll see that the sign, that's going to be the sign where we have the light blue concrete, the sign will be equally placed like just right in the middle. So now that we've done that, we're going to take the windows, so like the upper part of the windows, and we're going to place... Uh, smooth quartz on the left and right sides of each of the window frames. So if you think of in between the uh, light grey pillars as kind of just framework for the windows, then you just want to add uh, smooth quartz on the left and right sides, and then in between that, well, in a second, we, we also want to fill the top of these in. So um, we want to fill the tops of the windows. We want to join them together using either light grey concrete or... Um, quartz it, it actually genuinely doesn't matter because um, you're not going to see it from the inside number one and number two you're not going to see it from the outside the only way that you would see what block is behind this is from above so it's it's really not that important so we're going to place the upside down quartz stairs you see that that's really nice framing and then all we do is place some uh, glass pane in between the pairs of smooth quartz so um, this is the most complicated side of the gym how did that even happen? <laughs> I didn't even notice that when I zoomed out. That's crazy. Um, 
I don't know what I, I can't place stairs properly. I mean, maybe I'm just bad. Who knows? So we want to place all of the glass just like this in between, and that's that's mostly the front of the gym. We actually have a, a few more things that we can do to the gym with these particular materials. So uh, oh, I, I haven't glassed these parts. So um, we want to fill the lower part. Um, the upper part of the lower windows in using glass paint. So just like this, we don't just want some weird half windows. And we want to place flowers in front of these windows. Um, equally so, you can leave them blank. You could add some lights in the floor. There's a few different things that you can do. Maybe we'll experiment with that a little bit later. Something else that we want to do though, and this is, we, we can't really highlight this feature until a little bit later. The first two rows of the grid horizontally across the two rows of 29 here, this is going to be smooth stone, right? So this is going to be like a pathway. Also, that pathway is going to carry forwards and it's going to be equal in width to the actual entrance, but, the remaining area is going to be used for car parking space. I think that we'll actually tackle that later once we have all the correct materials, but I wanted to dig that out now, hopefully just to give you a bit of context. Actually, we can do this. Where we have the separation between the windows, the light grey concrete, if you dig out this row extending outwards to where we've already dug a trench and replace that with yellow concrete, and equally so if you take this corner of the pillar here and dig a similar row, like this leading outwards, then this is kind of like a guide for where the car parking spaces will be. If you then just systematically destroy all of the remaining grass and then replace it immediately with grey concrete, then this is where cars would be able to park, or whatever it is you're trying to park at the gym. Uh, it wouldn't be uncommon for people to ride a bike, and one guy, I'd, I don't know how common this is everywhere else, one guy at a gym that I've been to in the past liked to, liked to ride a quad bike to the gym, which is an interesting choice, but, you know... I guess if you want to park your unicycle in these as well, I guess you could too. But uh, regardless, this is kind of like the layout. We need to add a little bit of hedging to this as well to kind of like proper frame things out. But um, whilst we have the materials with us, because now we'll be able to get rid of them a little bit later, this is the only, I want to say this, this is the only instance in which we will need grey concrete and yellow again, then that allows us to free ourselves up for some other things. Um, we're definitely going to need some hedging after this as well, and we're also going to need the smooth stone, which actually, you know what, we can grab because that will, uh, those two spots in our inventory will not be occupied anymore. And whilst we are spending a great deal of time at the front of the building, whilst we haven't made the back of the building yet, um, this is the hardest part, ladies and gentlemen, so the rest of this is hopefully going to come together really, really nicely and quickly. Okay, so let's get rid of the grey concrete, the yellow concrete, and we don't even need the lily of the valley anymore. But jungle leaves, smooth stone, and we'll just leave it at that, is what we need at the moment. So, smooth stone is going to be the path that we just sit in front of the gym. This is going to connect things to either a city street or, like, you know, like a pavement, or perhaps it will just connect to some sort of, like, retail park or something. You don't need this, really, although it would be uncommon not to have some sort of, like, area to walk around. Like, um, depending upon where you put this, you know, you might want to alter the path and the pavement. You may not even want car park spaces if you just dump this directly in a city centre. We're going to have leaves on the left and right sides of the gym. So this is going to run parallel with the car park spaces. And you can see that that adds quite a nice, uh, quite a nice frame to it. So, again, this is where this would fit nicely. Like, it, it takes up its own nice plot, it's it's all self-contained, like it doesn't have to be blended in anywhere. This can be placed uh, wherever you like. Um, I'm going to grab the smooth quartz slabs, and we have to have two rows of smooth quartz slabs placed. One directly underneath the second story windows, and then another half a row's gap below. So you leave a gap like this, and this just creates a nice modern effect. It breaks up the up and down of the build, and um, I mean, 
Need I say more? It just looks quite nice, really. I really like it. Later on, so I don't forget, it wouldn't be uncommon for me to forget, um, we're going to be placing smooth quartz slabs all the way around the top and outside of the building. So, literally all the way around the top like this. This is when I said earlier that the build's actually like half a row higher. That's how it's going to be looking. So, very, very happy with how this is progressing. And now that we've done this, we're going to come all the way to the right side of the build and we're actually going to start building, well, the right side. So, the right pillar, we want to take the inward corner of the right pillar and we want to place four smooth quartz extending backwards. One, two, three, four. Light grey concrete, one smooth quartz, two glass pane, smooth quartz. Light grey concrete, four smooth quartz, one, two, three, four. Light grey concrete, four quartz, one, two, three, four and then two light grey concrete. You can extend each of these light grey concretes one row forwards, and you can kind of see the effect that we're going to be getting. If we come to the back of the build now, we want to place, and this is a pattern that's going to repeat five to, actually, no, it's not, never mind. We want to take this inwards corner of the pillar, and we want to place four smooth quartz going right, one, two, three, four, light grey concrete, four quartz, one, two, three, four, light grey concrete, five quartz, one, two, three, four, five, it's five because that's the width of the entrance, light grey concrete, and then two more, one, two, three, four quartz, light grey, one, two, three, four quartz, two light grey. And then if you like, once again, we can kind of just add all of the light grey concretes extending outwards just like this. And then, Taking this pillar that we have here, I don't believe that... Yeah, on this on this side, there's absolutely no windows or anything of the like. So basically, we'll take this inward corner. Four quartz, light grey. Four quartz, light grey. Four quartz, light grey. And then four quartz. We then want to extend all of the light greys, of course, just like this. And it will help us a little bit later if we just extend and we can go all the way around the build kind of like anti-clockwise now. And we can extend all of the light grey concrete upwards. So we want to make them all equal in height to the light greys that we have on the front of the build. And they will all kind of just like mix and join together. They'll create all of these separations, all of this framework for the, uh, for the gym itself. So here and... Um, It'll just make everything look good once everything's framed together. Um, we'll also, something else that will help us in, but because we have the light grey concrete and when we add light blue going horizontally all the way through the build, it will really limit the amount of space in a good way that we can actually add detail to the build. Um, when, when you're working with like a, a limited amount of space, it allows you to, it, it just kind of like allows you to focus a little bit more. That's why we're, instead of like doing uh, a side at a time or something like that, like we did with the front, we're going to uh, frame everything together at the back and we're going to just kind of like rotate around. Um, the There isn't much unique detail between the left, right and back sides. Um, the reason for that is because um, a lot of the downstairs, I don't want windows because it wouldn't make sense. There's a lot of changing rooms and showers and steam rooms and um, there's a pool. Like, it wouldn't make sense really to have windows all the way around like that. It'd be a little bit weird, you know? So, not very window many windows on the lower floor, but there is quite a few on the upper. So, I also want you to, as I mentioned, place a row of light blue concrete that extends all the way through, horizontally, um, all of these light grey pillars. So you can see how I'm doing that now. That'll extend um, from the front all the way around. It doesn't matter which way you do it, you know, starting from the left or starting from the right. Um, we just want to have the exact same thing so here and it connects to it wants to be in the same like level as the quartz that's below it it doesn't want to be it doesn't want to be placed outwards so i mean this is quite impressive looking really um this is what we want to have i'm, I'm actually pretty happy with this 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 looks pretty cool okay nice so now that we have done that ladies and gentlemen 
what are we going to be doing? Let's let's start on the right side again, not that it matters really where we begin. And um, basically, on this right side, I'm going to add an extra row of glass pane where we have these two glass panes. And then the entire lower part of the build can be filled in. Yeah, that's right. So, like, I want you to fill underneath the light blue line. Just fill it all in using quartz, because as I mentioned, like this right hand side for instance, this front part with the window, this is a lobby area, that's fine. These back two panels here, these are changing rooms, so you're not going to have windows <laughs> looking into the changing rooms. A little, little bit weird, a little bit creepy, so... Um, on the back here as well, like some showers are going to be placed along here, um, along that part in particular. This is a walkthrough area. This corner here is a steam room. Again, also not a place that I think that you should probably be having any sort of windows. Number one, it'd like the steam out, if anything. It wouldn't be as hot. And if you've ever been in a steam room, I don't know how many of you have, um, there's plenty of weird old men in there that get pretty angry if you let the steam out. So, uh... <laughs> I know, that sounds so strange, but it's true. Anyway, now that we've done that, we can focus on the upper part of the build. I'm going to come all the way over onto the opposite side, just like this. And um, on the entire right side, we're literally just going to fill all of this in, use it all the way up to the top where we have the light grey pillars. Um, we're going to fill it in using quartz. The back is different. So on this right side... I want to say the left too, I'm pretty sure on the right and left we don't have windows, but we do on the back. Almost all of the back is windows, because I wanted to let light in too. Um, we're going to have some windows on the top of the build. We need glass block, I completely forgot about that block, we don't have any with us, but... On the back of the build, the only part that isn't windows is this left side. So this left side, just fill it in using quartz block. And then I want you to just simply add two vertical rows of smooth quartz on the left and right sides of all of the remaining like where, where the frames are. And then we will place glass in between them. Um, so we'll do that all along the back. We'll place uh, we'll place the pillars ready, the quartz. And then on this left side of the build, we're just going to completely fill this in using quartz. And then we'll, we'll come back to the back when... Um, <laughs> back to back. We'll come back to the back once we've just done this. Um, we'll add all of the... That, honestly, once the windows are in place, there's not that much left to add. Um, we'll do the roof as well. Or shall we... Uh, I, I don't know whether to wait to do the roof. But anyway, now that we're kind of at this point... Uh, now that the entire left side's filled in, we're going to add a horizontal row of quartz along the top of the windows on the back, just like this. We're going to add glass pane inside of these windows. So uh, the way that I like to do it, this is a little bit tricky because this is more than just like a, a double wide gap. Um, I like to just go like all one way and like shuffle across like this and then face this way and then shuffle ac across equally in the opposite direction until all of this has been filled in with glass. Yeah, that's perfect. Nice. Then we're going to use smooth quartz stairs upside down once and we're going to place these upside down at the top of the build. So all the way around pretty much. We'll then be placing smooth quartz slabs all the way around the top of the top. And then we'll be placing some hedge in between the bottom. So just like this, we've placed all of the uh, the stairs. We're going to be putting the crown on the, the something, the turkey. We're going to be putting the crown on the turkey all the way around the top. That, that's not an actual phrase. All the way around the cherry on top, whatever. Uh, all the way around on top of the gym. And then we're going to... Oh, we also have another thing to do. But we're going to add the jungle leaves first of all. Just all the, all the way around the bottom of the gym. In between all of these light grey concrete gaps just like this. Here we go. Just in between all of these. Here. 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 Just moving, moving forwards. Then, we want the same two parallel rows of quartz slabs as well. So, we're going to place these here, and here, and here, and here. You guys know where to place them, right? It's at the top of the... Like, you want to um, cover the top half of the light blue concrete blocks. And then, you leave half a row's gap down. And then... Um, 
you just place another row. I don't know why it reminds me of toothpaste. I, you, can anyone tell me why that might be? Because I'm not exactly sure. So, if for some reason, I don't know, like the blue and the size, it just reminds me of toothpaste. I don't know whether it's like a particular design of a box or something. I don't know, but the point is it reminds me of the dentist and I don't like it. So... I do, I do like the design, but um, I don't like being reminded of the dancers. So, now that we have done this, I'm pretty happy with this. We've done a really, really good job. I think that we're, for now, we're going to leave the roof open because it'll let in loads of natural light and we don't need it until later on anyway. So, we're going to leave the roof open for now. But something that I don't want to leave open is the fact that we have two more, two more parts to the outside of the build. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to add a little, um, what would you call this? A planter, grass block, oak trap doors, peonies, or any two block high plant. Loom, we'll need white banners, red dye, and white dye. Okay, so on the left and right sides of the entrance here, I'm going to place a grass block. Oak trap doors surrounding said grass block wherever possible. Not like that. Does, does glass grip onto trap doors now? Has it always done that? Huh! So it does. I did not know that. That's got to be new, right? I've never noticed that before unless I'm... Maybe I'm losing my mind. Anyway, we want to then add peonies on top of here. I'm pretty happy with that. And then the dreaded sign. Luckily, it's only three letters. But it is quite complicated letters to make. They are quite com complicated, I should say. So I'm going to throw the loom down, crack it open, get rid of all these. Banner. Red dye. White dye. So... First of all, first banner, chuck that in there with some red. We need a vertical row of red on the right side of the banner. We grab that, chuck out the red dye, put the white dye in, and make the top half of the banner white. Grab that banner, put it in, get rid of the white dye, chuck the red dye back in. Horizontal row of red across the bottom. Up the left side. Across the top, boom, you've got a G for Jim. Or Gime, as I like to call it. So... Grab the white dye, white banner I should say, put that in there with the red dye, and we're looking for the top left corner to bottom right corner um, pattern. Grab that, put that in, get rid of the red, put the white in there, make the lower half of the banner white. Grab that, chuck that in there, get rid of the red, get the red, get rid of the white, put the red back in there, and then place the top right corner to bottom left corner. I'm sure that's got a name. What is it? Red Bend Sinister? Huh. Anyway, whatever. That's the Y. We're going to put the uh, white banner back in there with the red. We're going to do the top triangle, which is what I call this. Kind of like this. Kind of looks like Dracula's tooth, so I sometimes call it that as well. So we're going to grab that, put that back in, get rid of the red, get the y back, white back out. Um, we want to place the top row of teeth across the top of the banner, grab that, chuck the white back, white back out, put the red in, um, vertical row of red on the right side, vertical row of red on the left side, and boom, we have Mugawai. <laughs> but if we place these in the correct order, starting from here where we have this, the row of light blue, we want to one row in from the left, G, Y, M, and there we have the Gim absolutely perfect and this this is how the outside looks ladies and gentlemen it doesn't really change at all from here unless you want to add some cars or bikes or unicycles or quad bikes for that matter you know this is how the outside looks so hopefully we're all happy with that gonna get rid of all of the uh, banner equipment i hopefully won't need it ever again and now we can move on to the inside so there's some boring stuff with the inside first that we've got to do we will need chiseled Quartz block. That's not chiseled. We'll need chiseled quartz block, red concrete. One moment, please. Let me just adjust. Okay. We need light grey concrete as well. Glass pane. I think that we will need some smooth quartz, probably. Um, also, oak door, oak trap door. Uh, let's just leave it at that for now. We will need more stuff, but you know, maybe some lanterns as well. But we'll leave it at that for now. So. First things first, the entrance. Um, the first, the three middle rows of the entrance, these are all going to be red concrete. So you can just fill these in, and then I'm going to have a little bit of chiseled quartz on the left and right side. It's kind of just frames like 
walk this way and not into the glass on the left or right. So, once inside here, we want to... Uh, there's a pool here on the left, but there's also a lobby, so we want to create a separation between the two. We're going to grab glass pane, and where we have this light grey concrete here, we're going to place four glass pane extending backwards. One, two, three, four, light grey. Four glass pane. One, two, three, four, glass pa uh, light grey concrete. Then we're going to extend the light grey concrete towards the right by one. Then, new material, smooth quartz stairs. We want to place three quartz stairs. One, two, three, extending right. Two light grey. One, two. Get rid of the smooth quartz stairs. We need light blue concrete. Completely forgot about this. We then want to place two light blue. One, two. Light grey concrete. Then we want to leave a space for a door, but I'm actually going to destroy the floor. Place a chisel quartz block in there, and then a and then on the opposite side of this, one, two, three, four light grey concrete, and then on the right side here, I'm going to destroy the the floor again and place a chisel quartz block. So this might look a little bit strange, but this is actually perfect. It might. Do you know what might help us? is actually adding the second floor of the build in. So we might as well have done the roof, honestly, because we're going to be boxing ourselves in. The second floor of the build is where the light blue concrete is. I've designed it so when you can make this any colour, but make sure, I would recommend it being one colour. Whatever colour you want the floor to be, the second floor, make sure that it's just one colour. Otherwise, it, honestly, it looks a little bit weird and patchy and stuff. So um, I'm making it light grey concrete. I'm making the entire second floor. And doing this will help us to make all of the rooms. We probably should have done this first, honestly, but it's not really a massive impact that we haven't. So we can place. This is taking forever. I've I've already talked about everything that I need to talk about for this particular part, and now I've got to somehow rattle and drone on for another minute or so. But this is the entire second floor. Um, this is where the entire gym area is, so all of the gym equipment, minus the pool, minus the steam room, um, sauna, whatever you want to... It's more of a sauna, really, there's... But then, then there is steam in it. Hmm. You know what? That's a good point. Um, you'll have to classify what the, what the sauna slash steam room is to you, but... Um, you could even change it. I've been in a few different types. I mean, they all look a little bit different, steam rooms and saunas. So, anyway, now that we're in here... I'm going to add a couple of lanterns as well to like here, just like where the uh, light grey concrete separations are in these pillars. I'm just adding some lanterns just to keep things a little bit brighter. I'm going to do the same along the back as well. So like here, here, and here. A couple of those will have to be destroyed, but now we can actually see where what we're working with. So now, hopefully this makes a little bit more sense, right? So we can extend these light grey concretes up to the ceiling, because now we actually have a ceiling. We can even add a lantern here if we wanted to as well. Um, the same can, by the way, we can also destroy in the ground where we have the glass panes, and we can replace those with light gray concrete. And then on top of those glass panes as well, we can fill the frames in too. So like, just like this. So that's perfect. So. And this is a very similar layout to a gym that I used to. I've, I've been to a few different gyms, but this is a similar sort of layout. So the pool is going to be behind this glass. This is a lobby. Uh, changing room number one. Changing room number two. Perfect. Might even... These two middle light greys, I think I'll actually replace them to light blue. I actually, I'd actually prefer that. Um, all of the other... Then, all of these light greys can actually extend up to the ceiling. So again, these are where the changing rooms are going to be. And then, I, I suppose that the light blues can as well in between. So just like this here, 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 and here. Um... Yes, so also I think that we actually want to add an additional panel. So where we have in inside here, the pool actually is a little bit uh, a little bit bigger. So where we have this pillar of light grey, if you add one, two, three, four more glass with a light grey on the end and then extend these up. This is basically just the area behind the stairs, but inside this area, this is where the pool is going to be. And once again, I'm, ju I'm just going to light things up. These might be changed into different things. As a matter of fact, I know at least one of these which will be going, but this is kind of like the pool area. And then we can add some light grey concrete here. We can destroy that. Perfect. Let's, let's make 
some of the rooms. I'll, I'll have to um, skip ahead a little bit. Like, since we're in the pool area, what? one moment, please. So, okay, perfect. So, the light gray pillar that we just made, if you extend it across the bottom, if you place one, two, three light gray, extend upwards like this, and then if you leave a gap in the ground, or better yet, place a smooth quartz block along the top, light gray concrete on the end, join it down to the ground, fill this wall in here, extending backwards using a quartz block like this. There's going to be a door here to the left, so if you just leave a gap of one and then have a vertical row of light grey concrete to the left, smooth quartz at the top. So this is the entrance slash exit to and fro the pool and the changing rooms. This is where the steam room shall be, so this, this lantern can go. Um, I'll actually add one, though, inside. Then I'll fill this wall in using smooth quartz block. So this, this now gives us an area for the pool. And uh, what do I want underneath these windows? Light grey or quartz? <laughs> vote now in the comment section. If only that worked. If only you could like vote and it somehow changed the like, outcome. Kind of like one of those books where it's like, turn to page 76 if you want the... The, the, the snake to eat the, the tiger. Um, anyway, we can't do that. So I reckon I'm going to use light grey just to um, make it stand out a little bit more. So um, we're going to dig two entire rows around the edge of the room. This is going to be the walking area around the pool. Um, unfortunately, the entire room isn't pool, but I have fantasized about that recently. I thought about what if what if I had like a room in my house? I wish number one, I wish my house was big enough to do this. What if I could literally just like open a door and there's just a pool there and I could jump in it? That'd be awesome. The entire room is a pool. Anyway, the two rows all the way around the edge of the room are going to be occupied by chisel quartz so that we can actually, you know, walk around instead of have to swim everywhere. But honestly, I mean, uh, that sounds pretty awesome. So I'm going to. There we go, perfect. So, two entire rows. The middle of this is going to be the pool itself. So, it's a relatively small pool, but if you've ever been to a gym pool, they're not typically massive anyway. So, um, we're going to dig all of this out. And we're going to dig a row down as well. So, dig all this out. And then a row down. We do have on us the materials that we need to finish the pool too. So, we'll prop up at least some of them. I think that we might be missing water, which it, honestly is quite a key component to a pool. I don't really want to go in a pool without any water in it. We can place lanterns here as well. That's only just occurred to me. Um, we can... Actually, I don't like the light grey at the bottom, so I reckon I'm just going to dig those out and place um, quartz here instead. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that that looks pretty good. Um, the bottom of the pool... Let's just get rid of everything and then grab stuff as we need it. So, number one... Orange glazed terracotta, sea lanterns, warped fence gate. Yeah, I remember that, but not the water and smooth quartz stairs. So, I'm going to place orange glazed terracotta for the bottom of the pool. Why? Because it contrasts. Pretty much the only reason. The middle of the pool, which I've just filled in uh, carelessly, is going to have some lights in it. So, um, I'm going to leave a gap of two from the middle of the end here. And then I'm going to destroy a gap of, uh, a gap of two, place sea lanterns in there. Gap of two, destroy two, two sea lanterns. Just like that. Um, I'm going to have some stairs to get out of the pool on this side. I mean, you could even have one on the other side too if you wanted. And I'm going to place on top of those blocks a fence gate. You can use any, but uh, the warped fence gate seemed to me to fit very nicely with the Nemo glazed terracotta. So um, all you would need in here is water. I dare you to dive in there without it. It's not a good idea. So, now that we've done that, we d I'll tell you what we do have. We have paintings, but not water. Okay, so we have paintings, and I like the idea of suspending them. You may have noticed a sudden cut there. I just had to have a sneeze break. It was delightful. Not really. Anyway, so the reason that we have the paintings and the sea lanterns, the sea lanterns are basically just to make sure that we get some nice two-by-ones. I'm going to have them plastered all over this far wall. I like that one. I don't like this one. Uh, no. I like that one. And we're kind of running out of paintings. I might even take... Yeah, okay, you know what? They, I, I sort of like this combination. Because they're all of not a completely dissimilar colour palette. 
and um, yeah, they feel sort of calming. So I'm except for the creeper. The creeper's not calming, but you guys get the idea. I quite like that. Um, in here later on, we might add some potted plants. We might make it look a little bit fancier. But other than that, that is the pool area done. We'll be coming back to this area a bit later as well. But now I want to tackle the changing rooms. So for the changing rooms, the changing rooms have a completely where where is the plans for the changing rooms? I'm sure that they're here somewhere. Aha! Okay, so for the changing rooms, what do we need? We actually don't have all the materials we need, but we do have all the materials to make the frames of the changing rooms. Like grey concrete, we need some light blue. Probably smooth quartz block. Probably smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slabs, and some... Oh, chiseled quartz, definitely. Oak doors, lanterns for some light, and um, we'll just leave it at that for now. Okay. Changing room numero uno starts here. So you see where we have this set of three stairs here? There's a gap on the left and a gap on the right. So this area, this this is literally like where things start. So we're going to place a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven light grey concrete extending backwards. Along the back, we're going to place a row of one, two, three light grey concrete extend up to the ceiling, light blue concrete across the top, or maybe even uh, smooth quartz, grey concrete, extend down, and then this is pretty much like the edge of the room, so like this light grey concrete then can get extended backwards, and then we want to take the corner here that we've like extended down to the ground, and we want to extend it one, two, three to the right, up to the ceiling, smooth quartz on the right and this but that's actually pretty much perfect the reason being is we can extend this corner of the room upwards and then we can place a light blue concrete as well so um the walls have kind of like a bit of a frame to them with the light blue and the light gray just like this and yeah that's looking pretty good and then obviously we don't want to connect these two changing rooms um we'll have them gendered just like this perfect and we're going to place smooth quartz blocks here at the top uh, already have one here, already have one here, that's perfect. The rest of the floor, BT dubs, can be destroyed and replaced using chiseled quartz. Uh, that should be fine, yeah, definitely. So, um, all the way behind here, this can all be destroyed and we can replace it all with chiseled quartz. It just seems like the right sort of material. Like, it's sort of fancy looking, but not that fancy. Oh, no, I quite like it. I like the fact that it's, um... I like the fact that it's light and bright, and the fact that it's got a bit of a pattern to it, so... That's why I like it a lot for floors and for ceilings. Um, I use it a lot everywhere at the moment. Um, I used to like oak planks because they're so warm, and um, there's something about them I really do like. But um, smooth quartz, I think, is a is a nice is nice for here. Um, we want to seal up this back wall. By the way, we'll probably just do it with smooth quartz blocks, just like this. That's perfect. We want to make some shower cubicles as well. So um, basically from this wall here, if you just leave a gap of one, light grey concrete, 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 just like this. Extend the light grey concretes up to the ceiling and then one row forwards. These are just some shower cubicles. Like, I mean, you guys have been to the swimming baths, right? I mean, um, basically that exact same idea. You, you go in the pool, you wash off all the chemicals, um, you wash yourself with chemicals as well, oddly enough, and then you go to the changing rooms and then uh, probably exit the gym. Unless you, maybe you want to hang around for a coffee or something in the lobby. I mean, that's what, that's what it's there for. Anyway, we're going to destroy the floors to the changing rooms and we are going to place some chiseled quartz. Instead, once again, seems like the right material. Feel free to change it up. You might find that, I mean, in my in my head now, I am thinking like oak planks also works well for the floor of the changing room. But uh, like, again, it doesn't matter at all, really. I mean, it's completely up to you. So there we go. We have, yeah, we floored both of the changing rooms. Now, they're both laid out in the exact same way. So, you know, do to one what you do to the other. Um, we're going to place against the left wall Two upside down stairs on the left and right sides, light grey concrete in between. Leave half a gap of one above and then smooth quartz slabs just like this. Gonna stick a lantern on top, perfect. 
in this changing room here, again, same sort of two upside down stairs on the left and right side, light grey concrete in between, we're going to create a shelf, and we're going to chuck a lantern on top. We're going to have like a little bench, this is going to be pretty much in the direct middle of the room, and it's not going to cover up the room, you'll still be able to walk all the way around the outside of it, so that's here. And we want to have the same thing here as well. So that's perfect. Very happy with that. You can put some doors on as well. So like these two. Well, I, I was going to say the doors signify a door. Which sounds like such a stupid thing to say. Um, the doors are doors. So <laughs> we'll leave that. We don't really need any other door except for the inside of the spa. Um, I, I, yeah, let's just call it a spa. Who cares? So um, the spa room. Um, but that's a different kind of door. So, now that we've done that, we've kind of like laid out the changing rooms and such. Uh, oh, underneath these windows, I'm going to dig these out to replace them with some light grey. We have to refloor the lobby area whilst we are here. Now, I do want to say, before I even look, yeah, perfect. The entire lobby is going to be made out of red concrete. Um, I wanted the lobby to feel warmer. I didn't want it to be um, just quartz or, you know, some sort of grey. Or... I, I wanted to add a nice colour. Um, wool might even be better for this job than concrete. But I just have a thing for concrete, really. Um, wool would almost certainly be a, a better material. So it is up to you if you want to change. I mean, with... The only thing for me is I've already done this very tiny area of red concrete. That'd be so easy to change, but I'm not changing it. So, um, I don't know. I, th I think there is, like, the smooth texture of the concrete I really do enjoy. But anyway, it's such a small, small point. I don't know why I get hung up on these tiny little things. But, um, yeah, the entire lobby red. Feel free to make it another color. Green's also a nice welcoming color. Brown as well, but I'm not a massive fan of, like, brown carpet and furniture and stuff. But, um yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, but blue is also welcoming, but we've got a lot of blue anyway. So, you know, it's up to you. It's, it's nice contrasting. Once again, you know what? I'm starting to realize that these are the Colgate colors. I think that that's why, the, like, red, white, and blue is kind of like not only the Union Jack and the American flag, but also the colors of Colgate. How patriotic. So, the next thing that we're going to do in here is... Once I zoom in on this part of the... Okay, perfect. So, we're going to be making kind of like the counter space area and stuff. So, we can actually get rid of the red concrete and we can grab oak trap doors. Next to this window, where we have the light grey, we can extend the light grey at the bottom forwards. One, two, three. Old oak trap doors on the extending from the top. Light grey concrete extend here and join to the front of the build two upside down quartz stairs extending backwards or forwards towards the front of the build on the ceiling two quartz stairs kind of like this so they're kind of like opposites of each other feel free to add another like maybe swap that lantern here for a lantern here you'll see why in a bit I'm going to add a cash register for people that want to you know buy food and drinks and all that so a little cash register here can't really do too much. Honestly, we've kind of, unless we do add some um, art, which we absolutely can do, we can um, add some paintings and stuff um, to the lobby. So maybe like here and here. Um, unless we add art, so here would be good. I'm, I'm reusing the same sort of painting. I'll take whichever. I knew that ugly one would come up. And then, what is that even supposed to be? Can anyone tell me? I always see like a pig face over here on the right, like that's the eye. And then I don't even know what the rest of this, I don't know what that's meant to be. I know they're all meant to be uh, like parodies or recreations of like famous paintings. But um, I'm going to add a couple of lanterns, so like here right in the middle of the room and like maybe like here as well. That would be just fine. There's going to be a load of seats in here, so you feel free to place those out if you like. So like where we have this light grey concrete here, if you leave a gap of one quartz, gap of one quartz gap of one quartz you could even have another if you wanted i'm not um and then on the opposite side if you leave a gap of one we'll place some tables and then we can have like a load of stairs just like this and, and then we can like decorate however we want to a little bit later i'm just having a look around i know that both of these are equal this is all right ready to install the showers Sound like a plumber. Um, ready to put the pool in the steam room. That's perfect. I, we've done a we've done a really good job so far. Very very happy. It's just a load of little details down here. Um, I do want to break into the second. Maybe we'll add um, another 
Okay, maybe we'll add a row of light gray concrete here against the opposite wall, uh, against this wall. And then we can add stairs in and we can kind of like dig our way up onto the second story. We're not going to be doing much up here, but we want to place a set of stairs that leads us up into the gym. And behind the top set of stairs, I'm going to place uh, a row of quartz block. And then I... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just have a set of three stairs extending across like this and then up inside the gym just so that we don't accidentally fall down these stairs. That would be disastrous. Um, we will just add, there we go, just a row of glass kind of like around the top and you can kind of see how this is all going to be laid out. And I'm in a right mind now just to kind of like do the ceiling whilst we are in here. Um because it's all light grey concrete and glass. So, unfortunately, somebody who shall remain nameless is quite forgetful. And we need regular glass block unless you want a very, very dark gym. You might like that. So, I want you to add a row of glass that starts from the corner of this window. So, like, as if you're above and looking towards the left side of the build, the corner of this window leading all the way to the corner of this window, right? We want to have four rows of this, so that would be one, two, three, four, just like this. Here, here, and here. On the front of the build, we want the same thing. So from the corner of this window to the corner of this window, we want the same row of class. You can check that it's correct by using the back. We then want to add three more rows of glass in front of this, just like so, because there wants to be four in total. Then I'm going to add a row of light gray concrete in front of these two large areas of glass. Perfect. And we want to have a rectangular area of... Okay, so basically, we want to take the middle of... The, the width of the middle of these three windows here. And we want to have a rectangle of glass that kind of connects the two together. Like, this kind of reminds me of, like, an hourglass or the letter I. Or kind of like a... Um, or kind of like uh, one of those ships from Star Wars. I, I'm blanking on what it's called at the moment, but I should know it. And this is uh, this is what we want to have right now. This is exactly the look that we're going for. You may have noticed another weird cut there, ladies and gentlemen. I thought someone was at the door. Spoiler alert, they weren't. So, once we have created this area with the glass, all that is left for us to do is to fill the rest of this area in using light grey concrete. So, again, feel free to change the colour of the ceiling and the glass, or I suppose it's a roof, but it's kind of roof and be a ceiling at the same time. Who even knows? Um, this all just wants to be filled in with a material of your choice. Um, light blue would also work nicely as well. White would look nice, but I, for some reason, I don't know why, it, light grey just seems to be the way to go for me. I am starting to wonder if light blue would have looked good too, or whether that would look a bit too weird. I don't know, I, you don't really see like roofs of places being light blue. Like I can't imagine like a like the ceiling being too bright. It'd almost take attention away from the from everything going on. But I don't know. Anyway, regardless, this is what the top of the gym wants to look like. Looking very modern and very fancy. So now that we have done that, we the entire outside of the gym's complete. The layout downstairs is pretty much complete. Now, I dare say that all we have to do is add all of the details to the downstairs part, and then we've got a lot to do upstairs. So, I'm going to grab a whole set of new materials, some that you've seen, some that you haven't, and then we will get to work. Okay, I have carefully selected everything that we are going to need to finish the lower level of the gym. So, we're going to be starting off with flower pots, item frames, brewing stand, furnaces, detector rails, weighted pressure plates, azure bluettes, white glazed terracotta, and oak sides. And of course, we're going to be needing all that other stuff as well. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to gather it all right now. Okay. So, step one, we are going to come towards the counter space. I'm going to stick a couple of 
flower pots just along the back of the counter with a brewing stand. I think that you guys can probably imagine why we're placing those. Item frames all the way along the top here. And then if you like, you can kind of like decorate the desk area with a couple more flower pots. I'm going to place a weighted pressure plate next to the till because I always do. Then we're going to place a couple of furnaces along the back wall with detector rails on them. So drinks, food, what more could you possibly need? Me, nothing else. So now that we've done that, oh, and if you want, you know, stick a flower in that flower pot if you like. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to decide whether or not we would like some potted plants. Good areas for potted plants include next to the changing rooms and maybe even over here or perhaps over here if you wanted to add them. They start off with any glazed terracotta of choice and then... The way that I like to make them. I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to have to cycle through materials, grab them, and then re-grab them and stuff. And the way that I would make them is with oak fence and leaves. And you can do this in multiple, multiple different ways, of course. But um, if you add a fence with a leaf on top, then you get quite a nice little... A uh, little part of the plan. Alternatively, a part with like a bamboo in it and then like a leaf on top. Something like that also works very well. There's a million different ways, you know, you feel free to do what you like. So, tables. We've got a few tables in here. If we grab scaffolding and flower pots, then we can add some tables and then we can add some pots on top. And those could either be flowers, they could be drinks. It doesn't really matter, it's all subjective. Um, what else do we need to do down here? Uh, we have to add stuff to these item frames over here. So I've only got cooked chicken on me because, you know, I mean, I guess that that's what people who go to the gym eat, cook chicken and stuff. Chicken, Bryce, Bryce, <laughs> Bryce and Rockley. <laughs> chicken, broccoli and rice. Um, but, you know, feel free to stick anything in these item frames. It's just exhibiting what one might order from, um, from you know, the food area here. Uh, we're going to grab some signs and you can mark out the changing rooms if you like. So, um, I don't know you, one second, uh, we could, you know, male, female, whatever, iguanas, maybe iguanas use, uh, use this gem, who knows, you know, feel free to, um, map them. Well, huh. Okay. Maybe above the door, <laughs> male, female, iguana, um, perhaps, uh, cling on, you know, it's it's up to you. You don't even have to label them out if you don't want to. You can have just two, uh, two. Oh, this takes so long. To... I need one of those tiny little keyboards that come out of the bottom of my control. Uh, it takes, uh, you know, feel free to add those if you if you want to. If you don't want to, it doesn't even matter. Um, you can add more seats if you wanted to as well. Like if you wanted to add some more chairs, you could certainly do that. Um, you could have like a singular chair that's right up against the back of this person's chair. That person would probably hate it. Um, equally so, you could kind of like section off this area as well. So you could, let's say that you wanted to add some like glass to here. Wouldn't be uncommon. So like people that are kind of like eating here, like you'd be able to just walk straight up into the gym if you didn't have to get changed. You could have that. You know, there are loads and loads of different things that you could do. I actually quite like that, despite the fact it's clipping onto the chair. I don't quite like that, but um, you could even move these one row forwards. Um, what you could even do is if, imagine that that was... Uh, carpet, like you could even highlight this area in front. I might even leave the pressure plates. I don't quite like the clicking noise, but you know, I mean, it's, it's not too bad. But I think that we're pretty much done with this lower area, ladies and gentlemen. So now that we've done that, as I cycle through my plans once more, we can move into the changing room. So let's start in this changing room right here. What are we going to have in here? Um, light gray shulker boxes. We'll need item frames once more buttons we'll need also uh, we already have lanterns in here so flower part with some flowers i think that that's it pretty much so light gray shulker boxes look like lockers plenty of these in changing rooms item frames in front of said lockers buttons sort of look like a lock of some sort like this you could use bigger blocks if you want anything gray like for instance if you wanted to use light gray like that might even look better but i sort of like the small it's sort of, I don't know, you know, it's up to you, whichever one you want to use. Um, flower pot with a flower in it, boom, changing room. No, so simple, so simple. If you want to add some, I, I would call these peripherals to the changing room. You could add like a, a banner or so as like a towel. I can't place item frames on 
No, you can't. I mean, but you, what you could do is you could place like an item frame on the floor and one could place boots, aka socks or whatever. I mean, black socks, sure, why not? Um, like in the... Oh, there we go, perfect. So if you wanted to like leave some things like scattered about, if you so chose, you can do the same thing over here. These are just ideas, by the way. You don't have to implement all of these or any of these if you don't want to. So in this changing room, is same thing. So I am I personally enjoy the smaller, uh, the, the buttons, rather than the light grey concrete. So um, all of the lockers. The top ones are functional, the bottom ones not so much. Actually, you can get into the bottom ones. You couldn't on Java, though. Um, Bedrock and Java, two completely different beasts. Um, we have the flowers, we can have a towel here. Obviously, you, you, you might want to um, shuffle around what, I mean, it could be shoes, it could be whatever, but um, it does add a little something. I do think I do quite like that. You could even add a couple of posters in here um, with the paintings or something like that if you did, uh, did shoes. This long, drawn-out hallway is the entrance into the pool, but these are showers. So, I don't want to put the socks on, so if we... Huh. You see, I need the banner, and I need that. Okay, never mind, we'll work with it. Um, I wanted to destroy this whole bar, but I can't. Um, we need daylight sensors, levers, tripwire hook, and banners. So, uh, let's just put those away. These are the showers, dead easy. Oh, we also need, by the way, we need um, smooth quartz slabs. So the reason for these is to place them along the top of these showers, every single one of these. How many are there? Four in total? Yeah, I did think so. Here we go. And in the in the floor of the shower, we're going to have a day daylight sensor that looks like a drain. Hmm. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't want it placed there, so I guess we'll just settle for it being placed on the floor here. And then we want to have a lever above the daylight sensor with tripwire hooks above. So, control, faucet, drain, shower curtain. Just like this. You don't even need shower curtains if you don't want to because uh, people should be in their costumes still um, hopping up from the pool. We're going with the swimming bath method of showering if you guys have ever been to one. I'm sure you have been to a local pool or whatever. But... That's perfect. That's all the showers done. Um, here, we're not putting a door on there, by the way. We're leaving that as is. Um, in here, what can we do? First of all, we're going to add water to the pool. It's going to be a lot safer this way. A lot of, a lot less people are going to be breaking things <laughs> because water has been added in the pool. You know, you can't really swim that well on glazed terracotta. Um, if you want, you can add uh, a potted plant in here as well. So glazed terracotta. We've got the leaves back out again, and we have... What happened? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Um, so we can have like one here in the middle. This is kind of a good place for it over here. You could have one equally so over here if you wanted to as well. Depends on how crowded you want it to look. You could have them there with the lands as well. You know, wherever you feel free to customize this as you like. Okay. Steam room. So steam rooms are all usually laid out in different sorts of ways. But this one, we're going to be using spruce, planks, spruce door. Spruce wood stairs, magma, magma, uh, spruce trap doors, end rod, you'll see why, flower parts. Pretty easy. So, the floor to the steam room. I, You know what? I'm going to call it a sauna because the, the entire room isn't... Oh, we're missing a block. Guys, we're missing a block as well. Okay, so I'm going to make the floor spruce planks. I'm so sorry that I've missed one, but it's actually quite a tantamount. We, we cut paramount tantamount. I don't know what the, the difference between the words are. Paramount, I suppose. Um, we need campfire. Okay, so the way this functions, I hope it's the same on bedrock. Campfires, row of three here in this corner. Magma above. Perfect. The smoke's still coming through. Street spruce trap doors all along the side here. Then we're going to need another block that we don't have. Oh, so annoying. Uh, we need a cauldron here. Next to the cauldron, we're going to have an end rod with a flower pot on top. Oh, I bet we can't do this. Okay, you can on Java. You can if you're on Java, place a flower pot on top of the end rod. Okay, so. I mean, it, 
equally so, either a flower, but maybe the flower pot would be better, but I'll, I'll explain everything in a second, what, whatever if it, the reason for everything. Um, we have spruce wood stair here, we're going to make like a little bench, so we want it to curve a little bit, just like this. Um, equally so, if you wanted to, like you don't have to have like a seat like this, like you could have like a little, like a bench like that, if you did one. And um, you could have, sometimes in saunas and steam rooms and stuff, like, you have an emergency pull. Um, so, like, you can, like, like if it's getting too hot or if you feel unwell or something, like, you can grab, like, a chain or something and, like, it, like, sets off an alarm and people come and rescue you. I don't know if that's everywhere, if that was just perhaps my local gym and people were a bit, you know... It might not be everywhere, but anyway, we're going to put a door on this, and let's let's imagine what this is. Okay, so, we also, by the way, we need to put some water in the cauldron. So, these are like the hot coals. This is what produces the sauna effect. This is why it's hot in here, like it's quite a dry heat. Got a little bit of smoke going. That's what the fire, um, the campfires are for. So, this is why it's hot in here, the magma hot stones. Now, if you wanted to create a bit more of a steam effect, you would pour some water onto these, and that is what you would get. Usually, these rooms are, I think, kind of like wooden. I, I suppose that they... I don't know why they're wooden, but, you know, I, I, this one is. Uh, we've got a little bench to sit here and kind of chill out, and that would be like an emergency pull. If not, you could just hang a lantern in here, but it's actually quite light because of the magma anyway. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the entire lower part of the gym complete. Very, very happy with this, by the way. I think that we've done a good job. We've even added a couple of things that weren't in the original. Like, it only just came to me to add, like, towers and stuff in here. So I'm actually very, very happy with that. I'm going to not put keep the water out. So, now that we've kind of done the entire lower part of the gym, we must face the grueling task of completing the entire upstairs. Now, this requires a completely different set of materials, and I don't know how many materials, but it's going to be a lot of them. So, once again, I'm going to dump all of these. I'm going to get rid of them all. Carefully not putting those boots on. I'm not ready to go running yet. And once I do have everything that we're going to need, we can progress and finish this build. So this is going to be hopefully the fun part. Like, I like making all of the machines and stuff, and hopefully you guys will as well. Back in a second. Okay, I think that I have gathered all of the materials that we will need to make the upper part of the gym. Well, not quite all of them, but a good amount of them. So, we're going to be starting off with, and here's a good shot, by the way. If you want to pause the video, do feel free to grab it everything that you can see there but first of all we're going to grab smooth quartz block smooth quartz stairs oak trap doors polished blackstone slabs fun to say item frame black stained glass pane and rods black concrete and paintings we'll need everything else that you can see plus we will definitely be needing more stuff than this as well but not too much more stuff hopefully not more than a bar or so full but now that we have all of this we can get ourselves started. So, the first thing that I want to do is make some treadmills. There's quite a few up here. There's about seven of them in total. So, where we have the stairs, yeah? Left side of the stairs, move one row back, and then left, one, two, three. Boom. This is where we want to be. Place a smooth quartz block, and in front of this, two polished blackstone slabs. One, two. We also want to have a smooth quartz stairs placed on top of the smooth quartz block. Item frame, black stained glass pane in there. Place oak trap doors along the left and right sides of this, just like so. And there is a treadmill. Now, you probably can make a nicer looking treadmill, especially if you were able to use iron trap doors, but we can't. I'm pretty happy with it though. I quite like it. It's, it you, you can hopefully definitely tell the function of it. There's three more of these in this sort of area. So, we want to leave a, basically like two two rows here. We want to leave like two rows. And then we want to place the same thing. So, smooth quartz block, polished blackstone slab, stairs on top, item frame in front, glass in front, and then we can place oak trap doors on the left and right sides just like this. Perfect. Now, we want to leave a gap of two in front of these machines, and then we want to build the exact same thing. So we can actually build them a little bit in reverse, if you like. We can place all of these trapdoors, we can place all of the blackstone, we can place all of the, uh, the quartz. We want to place, of course, the... Oh, we need to face this way. We can place the stairs, item frames, 
like stained glass pane. And hopefully, I mean, that that's pretty much, I mean, it's, it doesn't look too bad. I'm, I'm quite happy with these. Now, what I also want is in the ceiling, above where we have the quartz stairs, if you move one row forwards, place an end rod hanging down. Ceiling, one row forwards. Black concrete underneath the end rods. Hang on. One moment, please. Here, and then extend to the right. Underneath. To the right. Now, we can place paintings on these. Perfect. So, televisions, hanging TVs that one can watch whilst they enjoy a treadmill. So, depending upon how fancy the gym is that you might use, you may find that you have a TV screen built into the treadmill. My gym was not fancy, nor have any of the gyms that I've ever been to are fancy. So, you'd have like TVs on the wall and stuff like that. They wouldn't be built into the treadmill whatsoever. So, what are the odds of getting that painting like three times in a row? So, ah, there we go. And, and then we got a bit of luck. Perfect. So, all different things on the TV. Quite happy with that. There are more treadmills. There are three more in total along this back wall. Side note, if you're able to make some sort of other different cardio machine, so let's say a stationary bike or a cumbent bike, a, a, um, you, you've got those like stair climber sorts of things, which we'd actually be able to make, to be honest with you. They're not that hard to make, but there's something about the treadmills that I really like, and they're quite universal. But feel free to change these for any sort of cardio machine that, uh, that you might like. We're going to be placing three of these. So in the front left corner of the gym, leave a gap of one, Smooth quartz, gap of two, smooth quartz, gap of two, smooth quartz. We're going to place stairs on top of these, and I think that you guys know the rest. A couple of polished black stones in front, and then oak trap doors running up the sides of them. Item frames in front of these stairs. Black stained glass pane in those, or alternatively, you could even place a painting, and it uh, that would double as kind of like a, um, a TV screen of some sort. But I, I quite like the idea of there just being a display, just like this. And then on the ceiling, above, then you can place some televisions if you like. In a similar style, but you don't need the end rods. Um, so, like this. Here, here, here. You could even, if you wanted to, you can, like, um, mishmash some of these paint. No. No. Yeah, you can mix some of these together if you like. There we go. Set of uh, treadmills so what next now that we've got like all of the now that we have all of these treadmills all set up what do i want to do in this corner so i've specifically left this corner alone in this corner we're going to have kind of like a boxing setup so just for a bit of cardio we're going to uh, by the way we need lanterns blue carpet armor stands red chalk box chains and we're going to be using some helmets but i think that we're going to try and dye some of them later to kind of like match the uh color of the uh, the bag so now that we have all of this um let's figure out where these are going to go so uh, wait. let's place we in this corner here we want to be one row away from the wall at least maybe even another row so maybe like here and let's try this we'll place a chain okay so we're going to leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to place another chain. I think that that's right. No, maybe six here. So we'll have a chain. And then I want to have two red shulker boxes extended underneath the two chains, so two punching bags, of course. And then along this back wall, I kind of want to have a couple of armor stands, so hopefully... No, we, we've placed these incorrectly. We might have to just shuffle the um, the punching bag one row across. So like this, so here and here. Or are those too far away from each other now? I mean, we could actually even make them a little bit closer. Maybe we can close them in closer a little bit. So red shulker box here, just like this. And then red shulker box underneath the two chains here that looks pretty good and then that kind of like frames these two armor stands i'm going to place uh some lanterns here and here and i'm going to kind of like have a mat made out of a uh, blue carpet so the mat is pretty much just going to take 
up this entire area here. Um, yeah, maybe actually it will come all the way up to like the treadmill. So like maybe, no, maybe just one row just left the punching bag because we, no, two rows because we have two rows on the right as well. I'm sorry if this is a little bit confusing, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm working out the proper, I'm kind of like working this out for myself as well at the moment. We will clarify the positions of all of these once I've actually done it for myself. So now that we've kind of like figured out the position of everything as well, I'm going to recommend that you destroy the armor stands and drop them onto the carpet. So now that we're happy with the position of everything, um, in the same position, kind of like just drop the armor stands onto the carpet too. And um, so the way that we've kind of like worked this out is the punching bag, if you start from the corner, you want to move out diagonally one, two, that's where the first chain is. And then there is a gap of one, two, three, four, and then on this fifth block, there is another punching bag. And then in between the middle of these two punching bags against the wall, we're going to have a couple of dummies and we're going to have uh, hats on these hats. We're going to have like headgear for, for the boxing. So I actually quite like this. I think that it all goes together rather nicely. It really fills up the space. Um, it really fills up the space in kind of like an interesting way. So now that we've done that, we're going to do a little bit of work in front of these treadmills. Like there's not too much to add, but we're going to grab uh, end rods and wither skeleton scores. So if you place uh, a couple of wither skeleton scores on the ground, kind of like near where these treadmills are, they want to be kind of like uh, two rows apart from each other. And I want to place end rods extending from the wither skeleton scores kind of like this. And it, they kind of look like barbells. Now, can we place them on the ends? Uh, you see, okay, here's the thing. On Java, right? On Java, these kind of like connect really well to the end rods. Like they connect in such a way that, I mean, it's perfect. Like they look like pr nice little weight sets. Like they, they, they look perfect. So if you're on bedrock like me, you may have to settle for the fact that black concrete may be a better choice. They just take up much a lot more room and they just don't look quite as nice. But if you're on Java, hopefully the wither skeleton scores will just join to the emeralds quite perfectly and um, they'll, they'll look quite good. So along this back wall here, we're going to have a couple of power racks or squat racks or power cages, whatever you really want to call them. They're made out of predominantly oak trap doors, but we'll also need tripwire hooks. We'll need some end rods as well. We'll need, um, just for a bit of decoration, some polished blackstone slabs. We'll need some diorite wall as well, some black carpet, and that might be that. So along this back wall, we're going to one row away from these windows from the ground and sorry, next to the windows, but one row away from the ground, we're going to place a tripwire hook. Gap of two, tripwire hook. Gap of one, tripwire hook. Gap of two, tripwire hook. I want to place end rods. Can we place them? Perfect. End rods extending inwards from the tripwire hooks. And this to me looks like an empty barbell kind of suspended on the hooks on the, on the rack. So if we leave a gap of one between these, I want to create a cage, a rack. I mean, hopefully you guys have seen these in movies or in real life or whatever, but one, one row away from the hooks on the ground, we want to place um, the oak trap doors like this. And we want to place trap doors inside of these two oak trap doors like so, and they want to be flipped upwards. We also want to have two more on top of these. So the first one should hopefully be quite easy to place. You've got to place it in a specific manner. So actually, no, it's not easy to place. So what would be the best way to do this? So perhaps it may be that um, if we place something along the, if we place something here and here, and here, the effect that we want is we want to have three of these stacked up on top of each other. And then across the top of these, we want to have... Actually, we can't, we can't place them like that. Um, and we want to have on top... <laughs> so difficult to place, ladies and gentlemen, when you're working with these. So we want to have... 
this perfect so you want to create kind of like a cage and a rack so it all wants to go together like this it all wants to join seamlessly so we want to do this on the opposite side as well i'm sorry if i'm not explaining that very well but hopefully it's more of a visual anyway so hopefully so if we can place it here so that it all lines up together it's all nice and flush with uh, with everything else and then if we hop on top of one of these blocks and we crouch and we can place that here, that's perfect. That's exactly the effect that I'm looking for. Now, inside of these would also typically be benches. You can perform a multitude of exercises, bench press, squat, you can row, you can do all sorts of stuff inside here. So, a couple of uh, diorite wall kind of like stacked next to each other, a couple of black carpet, that would be a bench that you can lay on to perform bench press or, but you know, whatever else you want to do. I like the idea of scattering a couple of polished black stone slabs about the place because they look like weight plates. Now, if I wasn't bothered about the ceiling for downstairs, I, uh, I would use blue wool or blue concrete to kind of create like mats um, around this. Like it'd be better if this, this entire area was actually completely matte. So um, we've, it's, it's kind of annoying really that I, I wish that I could alter the ceiling or if I made the ceiling perhaps a different color, you know, it might be a little bit better. But maybe if we just add some like mats just kind of like to the side here and then maybe they can be dragged about and stuff like I want it to look, uh, look, you know, I, I wish that the entire floor underneath here was that way, but unfortunately it's not. What can you do? Um, there's also a... Weight racks are a thing that you keep weights on, like weight plates. They sort of almost look like armor stuff. Why can't I, why can't I clone this? Maybe it's getting confused. Um, but armor stands sort of look like weight racks in, in a way. So you might even want to have like this, and maybe if you pile up some um, polished blackstone slabs like next to this, like it might, it might sort of like look like that. Maybe even some carpet, like it looks as though that you would keep weights on this in some sort of way. Especially perhaps if, if like the arms of this were out in I don't know like side by side, kind of like that. To be honest, like that's sort of like that. That looks like something that one might keep weight plates on so I'm actually quite happy with that so that's perfect I mean we've done a, a decent amount of the gym right here um, what are we going to focus on next so the next thing we're going to come all the way over to this corner right here in this corner it's kind of like um, more like a free weight sort of section as well so we'll need grey concrete we'll need levers we'll need iron trap doors we can use the wither skeleton schools for this um, you could even use uh, uh, grab some anvils and stuff in here too um, we can use the smooth quartz slabs um, we can use the diorite wool once more as well and we can use the black carpet and uh, maybe even the blue carpet too so in this back wall I want to have a rack to keep dumbbells and stuff on. I'm going to leave a gap of one between the wall and place one, two, three, four, five grey concretes. And I'm going to attach levers to the back of these and I'm going to flip them down. Just like so. I want to place iron trap doors in front of here. Are you kidding me? And then one on the side and one on the side here as well. So there we go. Perfect. So everything has to function different in Bedrock, doesn't it? Everything has to function differently. And then above this, I also, but now I'm a little curious about uh, about something. Um, now, I want to see if placing, if flipping a lever, like if that lever would also do um, that trap door. So hang on. No. Okay. So on on Java, that lever didn't affect this trap door, and it doesn't on uh, it doesn't on bedrock either. That's fair enough. So I want to have this sort of look, and I want to place some wither skeleton schools about the place that um, they kind of just look like dumbbells or weights or something similar to that. If you wanted to, you could place emeralds in between them. You can do all sorts of stuff, but it, it kind of just looks like maybe even kettlebells or something like that. You could even have an anvil that also also sort of looks like a kettlebell too, if you wanted to. So, you know, you can mix and match with this. You can They can represent all sorts of different things. I like the idea of leaving a gap of one in between this and having like a little mat so you can perform some, um, some different movements and stuff just like this. You could even maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe even a row of three, actually, I think might even be fine. 
You can have benches spread about the place, so this can be made either using a couple of um, diorite, diorite wall together using some black carpet on top, or perhaps you want to have, say, like a wall gap wall um, with carpet on top. <laughs> I wish that that didn't get that didn't connect. So you can have like a wall and then a gap and then like wall here. And imagine that there's not um, black carpet under this. Imagine it's string. So like you can have a different a couple of different kinds of bench if you like. I'm going to be sticking to just one kind of bench, but you know it's just a, a different idea for you. Alternatively, you can use two back to back stairs and you can place some carpet on top of there as well. But there's something about that I like using a, lot, a few different materials like diorite and stuff every so often. Smooth quartz slabs, these are going to be shelves, these are going to have like those exercise balls that you like sit on and you can do different things on them, I, I don't know, I've never really used them, they kind of look like hippity hops, and um, we're going to have like a shelf here and uh, an additional one just up here, and we're going to be placing shulker boxes to represent that a little bit later on. Uh, a few lanterns on this side of the gym, like where the grey separations are in the build, so here, here, and here, just to keep things a little bit light and bright. We can make this really cool machine that I like in this corner. I think that the technical term of this is a cable crossover. So literally in the in the corner of the jet, is it literally in the corner or is it one row in front? Here and then here. Oh no, like so from this corner of the gym, if you move one row forwards, diorite wall, place it all the way up to the ceiling. Extend that wall forwards to one, two, and then join down. Take the middle block and extend across by one, two, three, four. And then forwards, backwards, and then join down into the ground here and here. And then we need two anvils, one here and one here in between the walls. And then we're going to be using chain and oak fence gate. So a chain here and here and here and here. So it looks as though it's hanging down towards the anvil. And then we want to have a chain hanging down here and here with oak fence gates underneath here and here with them open. And then it kind of looks like a cable crossover machine, like you'd grab a cable and you can... There's all sorts of different attachments and the idea is to like create resistance by pulling this up and down essentially is how it works. I'm sure that... Or, you know, feel free to Google it if you don't know what the machine looks like. But I think that, that it's, not, it's not a bad look, to be honest. I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. Now, this entire wall is going to be mirrors, or at least, you know, fake mirrors. Um, so I'm going to leave a gap of one on the floor, and then I'm kind of going to create kind of like this this matting area. So it's not uncommon in a gym to have... Um, maybe I'll even make the mat bigger or smaller. You could even use different carpets, by the way, but for some reason, dark blue seems to be kind of like uh, something that I keep coming back to. So um, it's not uncommon to have like a load of mirrors about the place so you can watch yourself do exercise, make sure you're doing them properly and such. So that's uh, that's what that's for. Right, one more machine before we start making um, sort of like smaller things. So, uh, another machine. Um, this is kind of what I think you called this a pull down machine. Um, we're going to be using diorite wool, and where we have this glass here, leave a gap of one, and then. Uh, yeah, a gap of one, that would be perfect. Leave a gap of one, place a wall, and then extend it all the way up to the ceiling. Across by two, once you hit the ceiling, one, two, and then all the way down again. And then take the top block here, extend it one row forwards, anvil on the floor in between the bottom, chain here, uh, two chains extending down to the anvil, perfect. On the floor we're going to leave a gap of one, place a quartz slab, or maybe actually right against the anvil, and we're going to place black carpet on top of this. And ideally we'd have string and we'd be able to place a string here. And here, although this this works perfectly fine, it's just that usually these things overhang. So like this would be a seat, and this would stop you from like pulling yourself upwards, essentially because you know equal and opposite reactions and all that. Now, the idea was, and this probably won't work now. Unless you're on Java, it works on Java. You can place a uh, with a skeleton skull underneath here. But it's not working. It's, it's literally not working for us. But if you, if you are on Java, you can place an uh, with a skeleton skull here. Let's let's just use a diorite wall as an example. Diorite wall here. Imagine a with skeleton skull, end rod on the left and right sides, and then that would actually be perfect. So the with skeleton skull would sit right 
right here because they're usually attached to Envros. But if you're on Bedrock, we're quickly going to have to figure something else out, aren't we? So I'm thinking maybe a different kind of wall or maybe even like a polished blackstone slab. So maybe like here, maybe to just kind of like join and connect it together. I, I think that that might be the way forward, but the skull would... Uh, that that would have been perfect, but what can you do? Different versions, different rules. Maybe I'll have to start building on Java permanently. Maybe I'll have to move Stream City and move my entire city and stuff over there. But that, that would be perfect here. Um, maybe we can even add a little bit of blue carpet to the top of the stairs here. So just kind of like a bit of a welcome. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of covering up the floor as much as possible. I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, every everywhere along... The, if you've ever been in a public gym, <laughs> like adding weight plates and stuff all the way around the floor it that's something that you would probably see like you'd see weight plates and stuff all over the floor it wouldn't be uncommon to also see like these are extras by the way i this is why they weren't in an item list or whatever it also wouldn't be uncommon to see like towels and stuff kind of like um can't really place them on the floor but like here like and like it wouldn't be uncommon to have like a towel like hanging off of like a barbell or something like you know it's it's very very common like you, people might hang them off of off of a rack or like um like to secure a bench or something so feel free to add these like maybe even here you know that wouldn't be uncommon and to find weights in weird places as well so like over here in the boxing area like over here it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a miss to find something like that maybe even if we can place that onto okay well fine carpet is stronger than anvil um you know it wouldn't be a mess so a couple of other decorations that we can do with materials that we have gray concrete light blue stained glass trip eye hook and uh, maybe even iron trap doors but also hoppers as well water fountains there's uh, two different ways that i like to make these and these can be placed um i like them against the like light gray foundation like the light gray foundation slash separations so not fountain number one hopper trip by hook boom easy peasy looks like a water fountain uh one that's slightly more different it's kind of like a water cooler really like gray concrete light blue glass trip by hook in front of the gray concrete and then something on top so like an iron trap door or something like that different completely different style um, you're going to want to dot these all over the place, so like here for instance, and feel free to vary um, which ones you want to use, so maybe like over here, like maybe in between, now here, where, maybe over here, we'll have another one, so here, then here, 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 you know, just kind of like spread them out, place as many as you see fit, or as little as you see fit, it doesn't really matter, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is, oh no, 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 we can still do something else, okay, there's speakers, there's always music playing in gyms. I've never been in a gym where music doesn't play constantly. So, uh, a couple of speakers, like, again, I want to place, like, an iron trap door, note blocks, in four positions, above this water fountain here, above the equivalent place here on, on the back. So, when I say equivalent, like, you can see all the way over there on the left and all the way over there on the right, and I want the same thing uh, towards the back here as well. Unfortunately, the blocks are gripping, um, which is a bit annoying, but again, so certain blocks grip differently depending upon what version you're playing. I'm I'm almost sick of saying this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry that I keep repeating myself, but depending upon what version you're playing, you might want to alter things around. But I'm re I'm really happy with this so far. I'm really, really happy with this. Maybe a little bit more clutter here, depending upon what sort of feeling you're going for. You could even have another barbell here as well if you wanted to. This is really taking me back to when we were allowed to go to gyms. And um, that's pretty That's pretty much it. So I'm actually going to get the remaining materials that we need now just to finish things off. So we're going to need paintings, uh, a few different colors of exercise balls. Once again, I don't quite know what to call these. Like... Uh, yeah, I, I just don't know what to call these, but those big inflatable balls that you can sit on, they're kind of like for stabilization. So this this shelf here is what this is for. So something like that, a few different kinds, uh, a few different kinds of shulker boxes would look really cool up here. Feel free to swap the colors. Um, what are the paintings for, TSMC? Posters. I like the idea of having some posters. We're specifically looking for the man in black. I also wish there was perhaps a woman in black as well there. And, oh, God, we can't place that there now. How annoying. Um, but, like, here, and where else would be a good place? Maybe along the back here. Maybe we could, maybe we could, yeah, there's, that's perfect. So maybe here as well. 
nice. So something like that, just maybe a couple of posters here and about the place. Um, could even have one here. But it's Pinocchio. Yeah, it is. Okay, no, no. You know, just kind of like spread about the place. We could even have... It, it wouldn't be uncommon to have like, um, sign up for our such and such day plan here. It only costs such and such 95 a month and refer a friend. Like it would be uncommon to have like different posters and stuff scattered about the place as well. But the last thing that I do want to show you how to make is a mirror. So this is a very, uh, very, very simple mirror. We need loom. We need um, some light blue banners, and we just need white dye, I do believe, depending upon how fancy you want to get with this. But if we throw a loom down, crack it open, chuck uh, the light blue banner in there, or all of them, with all the white dye, and you place a fade effect like this, like that. And if you wanted to, you could even perhaps try and reverse it too so maybe that would even that might even be better and um, we can stack this wall with um there we go we can stack that wall with mirrors if you like um and there you go i mean if you wanted to you could even place some mirrors maybe like behind here too although we can't behind the emeralds um maybe even like across here oh that's something that we've got to do too so maybe like across here and across here so you can just check form and stuff if you wanted to i mean there's there's no telling that you have to whatsoever um and headgear as well for these uh two mannequins so i'm pretty sure that it works this way on bedrock but i might have to eat my words we'll have to see so the way that I think you dye things on bedrock, cauldron, water, red dye in the cauldron, perfect, and then lava cap, we can dye it red, perfect. So that just looks like headgear. You can alternatively blue it blue, <laughs> dye it blue, not blue it blue. You can also dye them blue if you like as well. Maybe you can even have opposing um, opposing uh, caps or headgear. I've got to stop calling it caps, honestly. So. If we just put a load of blue in here, then we can change it, I do believe, just like this. And then we can place that there instead, if you wanted to have like a posing. Unfortunately, there's no gloves, so we just got to keep it at that. But if you're in Java, or at least in my version, you, this is how you had to do it. You had to like grab your dye, so put any dye red. You had to grab your hat and you had to like put a crafting table and you had to put this is again java the die and um i i this is how i remember it anyway you had to like does does this work as well no it, it doesn't even work in bedrock but that's how you had to die things um maybe i'm wrong maybe that's just how i you know i i don't know that's definitely how i had to do it in java but anyway regardless ladies and gentlemen we've actually made the entire gym i'm really really happy with it this this feels really good. I'm really, really happy with this. It feels nice and cluttered. It feels nice and full. It feels nice and varied. I'm really happy with it. I hope that you guys are too. So this is what your gym will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. I cannot believe that we have built this all in one video. Be honest, did, did some of you guys, did you... Did you have to come back to the video a few times to finish it? It's okay if you did. I, I for a fact know that if I was following this tutorial, I'd probably break it up into a couple of parts. As long as you came back, that's the important thing. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button if you haven't already, please. It really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. I'm going to be doing a lot of city builds, a lot of city builds. So feel free, please do subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. The bell is so, so, so important. Make sure you turn all of the notifications on. If you would like to make anything else by me, check out the card system and the description below. Even the top of the comment section, I will leave a link to the City Builds playlist. It is a playlist absolutely filled to the brim with things that you may want to place and incorporate in your city. It's got a lot of stuff in there and it's always being added to all the time every single week at least without fail at least once a week we get a brand new city build in some sort of way shape or form so if you are building a city it's an absolutely invaluable resource and you know watch as many of the videos you should like watch them for as long as you can and give them all likes that'd really really help me out as well i spent a lot of time making this ladies and gentlemen that's why i'm that's why i'm hoping that you guys really do 
show a little bit of support. I'd really appreciate it. It's okay if you don't, but I'd, I would just love it if you guys could like you just, just watch as much as you can. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the notifications, hit those like. It just really, really helps out. But we've gained to the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Truly love you all very, very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Good boy.